Hello and welcome to the UKG Ready's Workforce Management Release Readiness Spotlight for February. My name is Holly Buffard. I'm the Manager of Customer Marketing for UKG Ready. As you can see here from the agenda, we have quite a few exciting enhancements, so let's get started. So the first enhancement I'd like to discuss is around the in-touch and smart view translations. So this is going to give employees the ability to view accrual balances, time off requests, view punches, any self-service capability on the clock to be displayed in languages like English, Spanish, French, and Dutch. Next, let's talk about some enhancements to attestation. These enhancements are going to provide you with greater flexibility. So first is the ability to restrict punches from an in-touch based on an answer. So let's give an example. So say you're using attestation for a company-wide COVID-19 protocol, and you ask employees if they've come in contact with anyone who's had COVID, say, the past 14 days. So you can actually set the system up to allow employees who answer no to the question, they can continue on to punch in. But stop anyone who answers yes from punching into the in-touch device. Moving forward, you'll also be able to override any custom punch fields that you've created in the event that they overlap with any other punch settings you might have in place. And lastly, there'll be a couple additional fields like expired status, question name, and question available to you in the question and answers report. This will give you more information for auditing purposes in the report. Now, this is just a quick reminder here. The Department of Labor has issued some updates to the FMLA forms, and those have actually already been updated and are available in um, UKG Ready today. So now, over the past couple of months, we've been talking in great detail via the community and during our town hall about our new timesheet experience. So I wanted to highlight a couple of key additions in our February release, and also let you know that this timesheet, this new, new timesheet experience is available under what we call a feature toggle. So it's going to be um, when you see the timesheet, the classic timesheet, you'll see um, the ability to try it out. So we encourage folks that might not be familiar or not have used the new timesheet experience to give it a, give it a try out, um, and you'll see some great enhancements in our February release. So first, um, you'll have the ability to configure um, four timesheet metrics that'll appear at the right, right in the top, as you can see that I highlighted here. This will give you at-a-glance visibility into key pieces of information. The metrics that you'll be able to display are total time, both raw and calc, and filter support. Counters, examples of this is, is overtime, regular, double, um, accrual balance and total number of exceptions. In addition, you'll also have the flexibility. Now, this is a big one, and I know a lot of customers have been looking for this to be able to order the columns on the time entry tab. So these can be customized in the timesheet profile, and that same order that you dictate will also appear in both the desktop and mobile devices. So just quick, quick enhancements around time off documents. So with our February release, you'll have greater flexibility in determining which time off type requires employees to attach documents. So example, say you want to make documents required for an employee request sick, maybe you need a doctor's note or something, um, or um, when they need to request um, vacation time. You'll be able to do this by checking off that the documents required in the box so you can put it against the time off profile. In addition, you'll be able to pull in the time off documents column into the timesheet and the time off report so you can easily see and grab the screenshot. So this gives you better visibility into your documents attached to the employee's request. All right, next up, let's talk about points. So in this upcoming release, you'll have the ability to determine which types of points trigger which type of custom form and that custom form can also display that point detail into it. So this is going to give you much, much more flexibility in, in determining what types of forms goes out and when and give employees the details they need to understand what their points balance is for. So moving on to scheduling. 
So with this next release, scheduling managers will be able to easily create recurring shift patterns for up to one year at a time. This can be assigned in the profile and it can be assigned to employees that have shifts automatically assigned to them during a schedule creation. So in this example, you'll see that the schedule is for any server working Monday through Friday, eight to five. But you also have the flexibility to configure any combination of recurring schedule if needed. In addition, the shifts created in a way will still go through the scheduling engine for validation. So they'll check roles like budget, skills, availability, and these types of shifts will also be available for shift swapping or coverage requests through self-service. All right, well, that's all I have for today in this session. Thank you so much for your time today and have a fabulous day.